What's happening, my creatures of the night? Uh, it's raining outside, and I got caught in the rain, so I am in a crappy mood, which gives me the perfect reason to do this video. So, I, uh, for this video, because I don't mainly listen to what is on the billboards or any of that, um, I actually took some time and uh, gave at least 20 or 30 songs that are on the billboard charts, uh, just quick samples, uh, some of them full listens. Um, it was the most cringeworthy time period in my life, having to sit down and listen to this music, but a lot of good came out of it because this video is my top 10 worst songs of 2015 so far. Oh, I would like to remind um, watchers that this video is strictly my opinion. If you can, you have to realize that this is my top 10 worst song. This is, this is not the top 10 worst songs. And uh, if you're able to, if you're able to understand that, then we don't really have any problems. If you put any hate comments in the comment section below, Believe me, you don't want that. I will screenshot them and post them to Twitter saying I did state that this was my opinion and people don't seem to understand that. So if you can get past the fact that this is strictly opinionated and I'm doing the and I'm doing this for entertainment purposes, um then we don't have any issues. So uh let's start with uh number 10, uh Rihanna bitch better have my money. Wow. Um I have never liked Rihanna. I don't get why people are so goddamn into her music. Uh, there's no musical ev evolution or change in her music at all uh, throughout the years. I've heard uh, various hits on the radio and whatnot. Um, this, this song is ridiculously annoying and meaningless. It's super repetitive, too. Um, it's literally just her... The song title is essentially what is repeated throughout the entire song, with a few bits added here and there. Like, come on, even some of her older stuff had way more meaning and depth than this. Like, has she really sunk in this low? Uh, anyways, uh, number nine is Charlie P Puth, Puff, I don't know, uh, with Marvin Gaye. You've got to be kidding me. Is this the best effort that this kid can put together? Ripping off Marvin Gaye's lines, I guarantee that Marvin Gaye is turning in his grave every time this song is played on the radio. Let, what's the, what's the, what's the, uh, I'm just gonna look up the lyrics here. Let's Marvin Gaye and get it on. You've got the healing that I want. That's like two Marvin Gaye songs in one goddamn line. Come on, man. Like, be original. I saw what happened to Robin Thicke. <laughs> Anyways, uh, number eight is Selena Gomez, Good For You. Selena Gomez was a Disney star, but not from my childhood generation. I grew up with the cartoon Disney stuff, um, so I don't know much of her. Uh, but my younger siblings were huge fans of her, uh, a few years ago even. Um, since then, she has apparently tried to break away from that squeaky clean uh, childhood sensation, I guess. The problem is she's trying so hard to be edgy, and you can tell that it's really, really forced, especially in this song. Not to mention that this song is heavily auto-tuned, her voice, I, I might add, and the music is overly simplistic compared to what my younger brothers used to listen, by, listen to uh, by her. Number seven is How Deep Is Your Love by Calvin Harris and whoever the heck that other chick is. First of all, uh, I'm not an EDM fan, so if you are, feel free to fast forward a bit. Second of all, even if I were an EDM fan, I wouldn't like this song. It's so generic, and the lyrics lyrics are so cheesy. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, pull up some lyrics here. Oh yeah, I got them open already. Just for you guys. How deep is your love? Is it like the ocean? Come on! 
Haven't we heard that so many goddamn times before? This song has to be tailored for the radio compared to whatever other EDM is out there. I'm sure if I talk to an EDM fan, they'll know of way better music than this. Number six is Bitch, I'm Madonna by Madonna. For crying out loud, Madonna is still... Madonna is still trying to stay relevant, if she probably is still relevant, and I don't know how. Madonna, you have to realize that people aren't into you anymore. P like, please, for all of our sakes, stop trying to be sexy. Please, stop trying to be cool. Like, Madonna is like a disease that just hasn't gone away since the freaking 1980s. Like, what she is doing may have worked 30 years ago. Heck, even in the 90s it may have worked, but it ain't working now. Just, just retire, please. I'm, I will go on my knees and beg you to retire. Just for all of our sakes. People aren't into you anymore. They can go ahead and watch something else that's on the internet that'll give them just as much pleasure. <sighs> Number five is Trouble by Iggy Azalea. Uh, Az Azalea? Uh, I'm not, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this short because this trash bag doesn't deserve all of my time for sure. She just rambles on blah 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 blah. I have no idea what she's saying half the time and her voice annoys me. I can't believe people consider this to be music, or even rap music. It is the pure, untouched epitome of garbage. It is, it is crap, fresh out of the ass. Anyways, moving forward, Creatures of the Night. Number four, this is more than a song. This is that entire album that Miley Cyrus released this year. I don't even remember what it's called, and I don't want to remember. Miley Cyrus is an absolute train wreck. Her main aspirations at the current moment, and even for the past three years or so, have been to be edgy in some sort of way. Please, like we haven't seen edgy before. The focus clearly isn't about the music, but rather the image that is Miley Cyrus. It's twerking and all that, whatever, licking sledgehammers on wrecking balls and whatever the hell she does. Not exactly the best image, especially not for kids. Not to mention, the music is a mess. It is wretched, man. It has to be some of the sloppy, sloppiest efforts I've ever seen put together. And I'm going to move on, because if I continue to talk about her, I'm going to have a heart attack eventually. Speaking of heart attack, number three is All About That Bass by Megan Trainer. I have had to deal with people listening to many atrocities that play on the radio. Never have I had to deal with the amount of people who listen and sing and go on about this song. You know what, just, just for fun, let's also add the song Dear Future Husband. Awful. Just freaking awful, man. The song has a terrible message, and the vocals are just wretched. As for all about that bass, Megan Trainer is really not that fat, and she is trying to spread this message that it's okay if you're a few extra pounds. But the message in the song isn't entirely understandable. And I don't... And she, with, this, with these songs, she goes for this whole classic feel. I don't get this whole new vintage thing people are doing, trying to bring the 50s back. If you really want to bring the, the 50s back... Get polio and be racist, for crying out loud. Moving forward. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. You know how I was saying I... You know how I was saying I was having a bad day because of this rain? Every time I hear this song, this song just pretty much ruins my entire day. Uh, this is Pretty Girls by, once again, Iggy, that piece of crap, whatever her name is, and Britney Goddamn Spears. We're not going to talk about that Iggy chick because, again, she doesn't deserve any of my time anymore. We're instead going to sit here and wonder why. Why and how the hell is Britney Spears still relevant? And the fact that she's still trying to be a 15-year-old girl, especially in this song. This song is ridiculous. It's incredibly repetitive. And majority of the, majority of the song is just babbling from that excrement from a donkey, Iggy. 
and Britney Spears for crying out loud, you're still here. The only reason why she's even relevant right now is because she's pretty much adapting to what's going on in the pop diva world. A world that should have come crashing down in like friggin' 2002. I honestly didn't even notice her sing a part in the song besides that ridiculously annoying hook that repeats constantly in the song all around the world. Yeah, shut up. I've had to hear this song in shopping malls, stores, from people in school, people in, people in stores, like everywhere. From my little cousins. This has got to stop, man. This song is essentially about two dumb blondes who care way too much about their appearance and going out and blah blah blah. In other words, it's meaningless. Absolutely meaningless. Moving on, <laughs> but not towards the light. Oh no, no, no. Number one. Watch me whip, watch me freaking nay nay. Where do I begin? <laughs> you know, I always thought artists learned from the atrocity of 2007 known as Crank That Soldier Boy, but I was wrong. This song has managed to achieve the accomplishment of, even, of being even worse than that song. Congratulations, Silento, Silentio, whatever the hell your name is. This song is the pure definition of absolute stupidity, and it is, it is the epitome of garbage. I can probably get my six-year-old cousin to put together a much better song on his goddamn iPad. First of all, what in the living hell is a nene? Is it just kind of some kind of stupid saying that people expect you to know exactly what it means because it's what's trendy? If that terminology is what's trendy, then I really, really feel bad for what people are into, and I really fear what people are becoming. Either that, or whoever wrote the song, this absolute atrocity, was just lazy and didn't even put together a well, a good lyrical composition. The beat in this song, the beat absolutely sucks. It's so goddamn generic and simplistic. May I mention, you can barely hear it because this idiot is yelling throughout the song. Oh, watch me, watch me, yeah, 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 shut up. The beat doesn't even fit the goddamn song. And the lyrics, the lyrics don't even rhyme. They have no complexity whatsoever. I, I feel that the entire writing and recording process of the song was just lazy. He instead babbles these random verses that make no sense and are not explained. Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. Do, do the stanky... What the hell is a stanky leg? Like, Jesus Christ. And it repeats those certain sound bites over and over and over again. Once again, I can't figure out how people find this enjoyable. And if you don't like what I have to say about this song, I simply don't care. Once again, this video states my top 10 worst songs of 2015. I'm stating my own opinion. So, if you don't like what I have to say, don't watch. Don't watch. Might I add that this song is not original at all. This concept for music has been done many, many times, many times before. You know, all throughout the 90s and early the early 2000s, to crank that Soldier Boy, for example. And, you know what? I've had my good share of letting out some frust frustration that is well-deserved towards these songs. And that concludes my top 10 worst songs of 2015. And to those creatures of the night who do enjoy what I have to say, thank you guys, and rock on. You know, maybe in the next video we're going to get back into my comfort zone, and that is rock and metal, because I can't, I don't ever want to have to listen to these atrocities again, and I'm glad I don't. I literally only listen to them for this video and for my creatures of the night who get to enjoy some of JD bashing some really awful music. So thank you guys for watching, and thank you... New subscribers, feel free to comment album reviews and uh, top 10 requests below, and I will gladly complete them. And rock on, my creatures. <laughs>